um, the, the sorts of things that I really noticed, as I said, we, we had tried to go more to a uh, inquiry-based, um, constructivist sort of approach prior to the laptops. But I've got to say, the fact that when the laptops came in, because we'd shifted the, the humanities department, it was just the arrangement of rows and the sharing across the middle of the kids, and the kids being more self-directed. Really, the teacher away from the front of the classroom. You know, I, I rarely walked in to classes where you had the teacher at the front doing things at the front once the laptops came in. The, the teacher really did start to take a role. The teacher still had a very much a classroom management role, in fact, more so. They were, they were the managers managing lots of things. And lots of kids would be coming up and showing them things on their laptops. But particularly when we had the intranet and a lot of stuff on the intranet and a lot of kind of um, assignment-based work and things like that, when I was in classrooms, a lot more often the kids were doing things on the laptop. They had all the tools they needed there. They weren't so much looking up here and listening to the teacher. So a lot less teacher talk, a lot more content that was on the machine itself, a lot more reliance on the machine. The machine did become a very important cog because once once they actually move over to that, it's so crucial that the machine keeps running for them because you know a day without it or a period without it, you know, it's pretty bad for them if they're if they're really going to be doing using the laptop during that period.